Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to sew DIY pajama pants for kids. These are perfect for Christmas or New Year's this year. So I found this free perfect PJ pants pattern by Cloth Parcel on Craftsy.com and you can download it for free. It does have instructions with it, but I'm going to show you how I make it. I make it slightly different than the instructions say. So you can print it right at home on your home printer on eight and a half by 11 sheets. Just make sure that you're printing it the right size, that you're not enlarging it or shrinking it. And then you just tape all the pieces together. This pattern comes in a size from six months to eight years. So I'm making a pair of pants for all of my girls, all three of my girls. So my oldest girl is 10 years old. So I am using this pattern, but I'm just adding about two inches to the length of the pattern. And then I'm going to make a size eight and then I'm going to make a size five. So I'm just using the same pattern for all of my girls pants. So I'm just using some cotton flannel. I'm just folding it like this, placing the pattern over top, pinning it down, and then cutting it with some nice sharp fabric scissors. So you want to make sure you put the pattern side where it says place on fold on the fold of your fabric. Also make sure to pre-wash your fabric, especially if it's cotton, just in case it's going to shrink a little bit. So here's the size 10 that I made by adding the extra length and you're going to have a piece of a flannel fabric or whatever fabric you want that looks like this. So you are going to cut out two of these pieces. Next, what I do is I sew the inner leg seams first. So you just fold the pant piece in half vertically, and then you're going to sew along that inner leg seam. So I have a serger, and what a serger does is it finishes the seam for you. If you don't have a serger, just sew this seam with a regular sewing machine using a 5 8 seam allowance, and then just zigzag along the edge to make sure the fabric doesn't fray. So your piece when finished is going to look like this. Do both of the pant legs like this and then you're going to open up the pant legs on the top and you're going to put them together right sides together matching up that inner leg seam just like this. And then just lining up the rest of the seams. You should pin them. I don't pin but pinning will definitely help and then you're going to sew this seam like this using a 5 8 seam allowance. Again, I'm using my serger, but you can use a regular sewing machine stitch using a 5 8 seam allowance and then finishing off with a zigzag stitch. In the description box below, I will link to my serger or a similar serger and my sewing machine and a similar sewing machine. So that's it for the main seams of these pants. You just have the inner leg seams and then you have that crotch seam. Really, really easy. Next, you're going to turn your pants right side out and you're going to iron the hems on the legs and you're going to iron the casing for the elastic on the top. So I'm just folding the pants under about a quarter inch. You can use a ruler or you can eyeball it. It's totally up to you. And use a nice hot iron. I use mine on a steam setting because I am using cotton fabric to make sure that my hem stays in place before I sew it. So iron your hem under a quarter inch all the way around each bottom of each pant leg. Next I'm using a ruler and folding my hem under one more time an inch and a half. Now you can adjust this length depending on your child. Um, I've just kind of guesstimated what little B's height is going to be. So I did a quarter inch and an inch and a half, but you can fold that second part less or more depending on the height of your child. And you can make the pajama fat pants fit them perfectly, which is the really great thing about making custom PJ pants is you can make them to fit your child perfectly. They're also a wonderful beginner's DIY sewing project. This is probably... Uh, what I would recommend to start with when you're sewing. They're so easy, so fun, and really satisfying to make. So fold under each of the pant legs, and then you're going to do the casing for the top of the pants. So uh, again, I'm folding the top of the pants under a quarter inch and ironing with my iron. And then I am using one inch elastic. You can use three quarter inch elastic. And then I'm gonna iron the top casing part of my pants under one and a half inches because you wanna make sure that the casing is a little bit wider than your actual elastic that you're going to use. 
So if you're using three quarter inch wide elastic, maybe you would fold the top of your pants under one inch. I'm using one inch, so I'm going about one and a quarter to one and a half inches. So here's what the pants looked all ironed and ready to hem. And then I'm just using my regular sewing machine with a medium width stitch, and I'm just sewing those hems down. So I like to sew my hem quite close to the folded part of the hem to make it nice and sturdy. And then just make sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end of your stitches. So here's what that bottom leg hem looks like. And here's what the inside looks like. So you're going to do that to both legs and then you're going to stitch down the top casing of your pajama pants. So same thing, just go all the way around using a medium length stitch, regular sewing machine, and just make sure to leave a hole at the end that you can insert your elastic through. So the hole on mine is about an inch and a half wide, so I have just enough room to insert my elastic. Next, you're going to cut an elastic to fit around your child's waist. I have made mine about an inch smaller than little B's waist. And then I put a safety pin on one end and a regular stick pin on the other end. And I insert the elastic with the safety pin end through first into that hole that you left in the casing. And then you're just going to kind of shuffle that safety pin with your thumbs and pull the elastic through your pajama pants casing. Once you've reached the end of the casing, you're going to pull the beginning end of the elastic through the hole again. And make sure your elastic is and hasn't flipped or anything as you've pulled it through the casing. Make sure it stayed the same, that it's nice and smooth. And then just pull both ends nice and tightly through that hole. And then you're going to overlap them just like this. And I sew a zigzag stitch back and forth a few times just to make sure the elastic is nice and secure and it's not going to come apart on me. So I'm using a zigzag stitch on a regular machine going back and forth a few times to secure the elastic. Then pull the elastic into the casing by pulling on the waistband of the pants and then sew that hole that you left shut just with a regular medium length stitch on your sewing machine. And no joke, that is it. That is how you sew these pajama pants. They are so easy and cute, a great beginner's project, and I really love this free pattern. Now I wanted to show you how I made a really adorable little sparkly monogram, a uh, little night shirt to make with these pants. I'm gonna make these for all my girls. So I'm using my new Cricut Maker, and I just used Cricut Design Space right on my computer. I just made a letter B, set my material uh, to iron on. I had this scrap of glittery gold iron on uh, material, so I just used it to cut out the letter B with my Cricut Maker. So I just have it on this mat. My Cricut Maker is doing all the work for me. And then I just pull the iron on off the mat. And then I'm just trimming it down with my scissors. And then I'm going to pull the material. I'm going to weed the material so that you just have the letter B showing at the end here. And I'll leave a link in the description box below to my maker. I am loving it so far, and um, it's been really great for personalized projects like this, especially around Christmas time. I found this little tank top just at Walmart, and I'm using Cricut's Easy Press. They also sent this to me to try out, and I'm loving this. It's just basically like a giant iron with temperature control plus timer control. I'm heating up the tank top. And then I'm placing the iron on deckle that I made where I want it on my tank top. And then I'm using that easy press again to just fuse that to the tank top. 
Again, you're going to want to make sure if you add a decal or an iron-on like this to any material, you're going to want to pre-wash that fabric first just to make sure everything works. Then I'm turning my tank top inside out and I am pressing that Cricut Easy Press right on the tank top again to make sure that that bee is really fused to the tank top. Then I'm turning the whole thing right side out and here is how the sparkly little monogrammed tank top turned out. I'm going to pair it with the pajama pants that I made. I'm just pulling off the film here. This is the final step and you can see how nicely fused that bee is. So here's the pairing. I'm going to make one set like this for each of my girls, an A, a B, and a C. And I'm going to give it to them actually before Christmas so they can enjoy it for their Christmas break. So here's how the pants turned out. Little Bee really, really loves them. She wore them to sleep the first night that I made them and they were such a fun project to sew. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you would ever attempt to sew pajama pants or if you ever had and what you thought. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.